CBMs or confidence building majors have a very particular but limited role in a contractual context. Um, CBMs are means to maintain a kind of communication between two warring groups in a very difficult situation. When there is no other options available, CBMs comes into play and sometimes the other diffuse the uh, tense situation. Uh, when it comes to nuclear deterrence, um, in a conflictual situation, no country or two adversaries would not like to compromise on nuclear deterrence. Uh, here the CBM try to build up a trust between the adversaries. Uh, not while not compromising on the deterrence posture both are having towards each other. So CBMs, while uh, building up a trust about each other's deterrence posture, opens up channels of communication and diffuse the tension uh, which is prevailing. Otherwise, it has no uh, you know, amicable solution. It just creates an environment uh, of trust which will give way for negotiation and de-escalation of the situation. Dialogue in CBM has been very important uh, in bringing India and Pakistan together during difficult times. Uh, confidence building measures essentially play, play an important role in bringing states together and in this case India and Pakistan have come together on different uh, areas of mutual agreement. In the absence of peace, they serve as a bridge to keep things going, keep communication channels open and uh, sharing of information. The communication channels they create help in easing the tensions that in turn strengthen deterrence. However, one of the main purpose of CBMs is to keep the things rolling. They are a process and they should be viewed as such. They should be viewed as a means towards an end. Therefore, confidence building measures should not be viewed as an end in itself. Uh, the confidence they create needs to be backed with concrete policy solutions.